Hello, I'm Alec Bean. And I'm Kyle Laidlaw, and today we'll be telling you who to start and who to sit in week six of fantasy football. First, for the starts, Adam Thielen. I know, I know. Is it 2018 again? But Bryce Young, you know, he hasn't looked like the best rookie QB out there, but Panthers got nothing else offensively outside of Thielen. Other than a slow week one, Thielen has put up some elite numbers against some weak defenses, yes, but elite numbers nonetheless. He has a tougher test this week against Miami, but he gets enough target share to be considered an every week wide receiver two in PPR and a wide receiver three or flex candidate in non-PPR. For my first start, I'm going with TJ Hawkinson. Now, I know what you're all thinking. This is a clear start. However, this was the tight end one for the first four weeks of fantasy football. He had an off week last week, but coming back now with Justin Jefferson out, it's a great matchup for him. He's going against the Bears with a bottom tier defense. I think they're ranked around 30th in the league. And it's just a great off. It's a great matchup for him. The offense opens up for him, especially with Jefferson out. He's the clear, not wide receiver one, sorry. He's the clear tight end one for this team at going forward. My second start of the week, another receiver, Christian Kirk. I've always been a big Christian Kirk guy. For the Cardinals, he's a you know, big boomer bust. He's getting either 30 points or two points and no in between. But with this high-powered Jaguars offense, Ridley's obviously the main threat in the passing attack. But if Ridley, if one of Ridley or Kirk isn't open, the other one is going to be open. And Lawrence has looked solid. He looks more comfortable this year than last year. Not elite, but he's been able to spread the ball pretty evenly between Kirk and Ridley. Ridley is a clear wide, every every week wide receiver too, but I think Kirk should be considered right up there with him. Against a mediocre Colts defense, I got him as a wide receiver three and a flex option, but borderline wide receiver two. For my next start, I'm sticking with tight ends. I'm going with Logan Thomas of the Washington Commanders. Now, most of you probably have never heard this name. However, he did put up 20.7 points last week, and he seems to be the number one option on this Commanders offense, even with. Terry McLaurin and Curtis Samuel, even Jahan Dotson at that, but he has been the number one target share person of this team. Howell seems to be finding his groove, settling in after sitting last year out, and he has a great matchup against the Falcons this week. Look for him to have big numbers this week. All right, now on to the sits. My first sit's a tough one because due to my poor fantasy team, I have to start him anyways, um, but it's Chris Olave. Hot start to the season, one of the top breakout candidates in fantasy football. But he's got two. He's coming off two poor performances. One of those against a terrible Pats defense. Um, he got 18 receiving yards off three catches and 11 targets across those two games. He did pull in his first touchdown of the season against the Pats, but was enough to push him over the 10 fantasy point mark. This week he's lined up against a stingy Texans defense. I don't remember the last time the Texans defense has been considered stingy, but they're a good defense this season nonetheless. Um, again, I had to start him, but don't follow me. Uh, he's a sit in my book. For my first sit, I'm flipping to the other side of the ball. I'm going the Titans defense. Now, although they have been decent, they're the 19th ranked defense in the league, so they're bottom 16, but that's okay. However, they're playing a good Ravens offense. Though last week, the Ravens offense seemed a little shaky. I think they only put up 10 points. That's just because of drop balls. Lamar has looked phenomenal this season. He was the number three ranked quarterback for fantasy this year until last week. Drop balls killed them, but I think that gets fixed this week from the hard work of practice. Last week, the Titans defense put up negative two points against the Colts. And Colts have a not so great offense. The Ravens have a phenomenal one. So I think this week, Titans are gonna get blown out. For my second sit, I've got Joe Wilson Jr of the Miami Dolphins. I know it's tempting to throw him in this week with electric rookie HN now on the IR. He's out until at least week 11. Mostert, Raheem Mostert's probably going to slip into that uh, running back one spot. Wilson probably at the running back two. It's pretty evident that this Miami offense can support two fantasy running backs, uh, but I I, th I think you, sh you should hold on, to uh, hold on to Wilson for one more week. Just He's, you know, he's coming off an injury. He needs to establish himself in that offense. It's going to be Mostert this week. He's facing a susceptible Panthers defense this week. He's projected for 10.1 PPR fantasy points. Hold him on your bench for now. He will be a start next week, I'm sure. For my second sit, I'm going with Jared Goff, quarterback for the Lions. 
He had a great le- week last week, putting up 27 points. I knew that because he was on my bench, sadly. But um, this week, he's got a tough matchup in the Buccaneers. Their defense has been really solid this year. They're the eighth-ranked defense against quarterbacks this year in fantasy. I think that they continue that trend against the Lions team. With Amon Ross still questionable for this Sunday, I'm not too sure Goff is going to be able to put them over the edge against that Buccaneers defense. So with that, I'm going to sit Jared Goff for this Week 6 matchup. That's all for Week 6 of Start, Sit, Advice. Good luck in all your matchups this week. From the UCTV studio, I'm Alec Bean. And I'm Kyle Laidlaw.